Welcome to Pluto Talk. I'm your host, Mr. L, and I'm here to talk to you about Pluto, the ninth planet from the sun. Well, was the ninth planet from the sun. That's right, because in 2006, scientists demoted Pluto. I know, poor Pluto, right? They got demoted from a planet to what's called a dwarf planet. Now, there were a few reasons for doing this, which we're going to get into later. But let's start off with just some basic information. Let's start with size, shall we? Now, Pluto, in terms of planets, is very small. It's actually only about 1,400 miles in diameter. Now, if you compare that to the Earth, it's pretty tiny, right? You can actually fit about seven Plutos across the Earth at its diameter. Now, that was size. But how about distance? Well, Pluto is actually really, really far away from the sun. It's actually 3.6 billion miles away. Now, it's also because of that distance that Pluto wasn't even discovered until about 1930, whereas all of the inner planets and Jupiter and Saturn have been known about for thousands of years. Now, this distance is also the reason it's called Pluto, because Pluto was a Roman god, the god of the underworld. And obviously, you don't get much light underground, and Pluto doesn't get much light either, so it really makes sense if you think about it. Now I'm going to use this baseball here to help me talk about Pluto's rotation and also its orbit around the Sun. Now its rotation or its length of a day is actually as long as 6.4 Earth days, meaning in about a week here there's only one day on Pluto. Now its orbit is pretty astounding as well. Actually it takes 248 Earth years to travel once around the sun. Meaning, for every one Pluto year is 248 Earth years. Now, that is a long, slow orbit. But there are also a lot of other weird things about Pluto's orbit. So, let's take a look at this diagram to help us look at some of those things. Here you see the orbits of the outer planets. On the bottom left of the screen, you can see that Pluto's irregular orbit actually takes it inside of Neptune's orbit. This small portion of Pluto's orbit takes about 20 years out of its total 248 year orbit around the Sun. Before Pluto was demoted to a dwarf planet in 2006, Neptune became the farthest planet from the Sun every time Pluto's orbit took it inside of Neptune. Well, now, of course, Neptune is just always the farthest planet from the Sun. And the last time that Pluto went inside of Neptune's orbit was from the years 1979 to 1999, which means it's not going to happen again for another 238 years. How about some more about Pluto's orbit? Here I have the book, When is a Planet Not a Planet? the story of Pluto. Now if I look at this picture here, wait for it, get out of the way Linton, there you go. You look at this picture here, you see the orbits of all the planets. Now Pluto's orbit is this orange one. You can see the rest of the orbits line up in a flat straight disk, while Pluto's orbit, again the orange one, is diagonal compared to all of the rest. Astronomer Clyde Tombaugh stumbled across Pluto in 1930, but since then, its status as a planet has been called into question. It isn't bigger than the Earth as Tombaugh initially thought. Instead, it's got a huge moon nearby. In fact, some people called it a binary planet or a double planet. Beginning in the early 1990s, they started finding other objects similar to Pluto. Some, like Polar and Sedna, were almost as big. Then in 2005, astronomers announced that they found an object named Eris, even bigger than Pluto. Now, these three objects that that narrator talked about, which were Quoar and Sedna and Eris, 
They're all made out of the exact same thing that Pluto is, which is mostly ice and some rock. Now, they all float together along with thousands of other similar objects around the outside of our solar system, just like Pluto. Now, all of these float around in a belt similar to the asteroid belt, which is called the Kuiper belt. And again, the Kuiper belt is all of those objects, which are mostly dwarf planets like Pluto, that float around the outside of our solar system, all orbiting the sun. Are all these planets? Astronomers wondered the same thing. And in August of 2006, astronomers from all over the world met and finally decided on a formal definition of a planet. Pluto and its buddies didn't make the cut, and now they're known as dwarf planets. So, there you have it. If scientists wanted to keep Pluto as a planet, they'd have to make all those other thousands of dwarf planets just like it planets too. And that's just not going to happen. So, thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed Pluto Talk with Mr. L. There we go. And I'll catch you next time.